the men's final. Sarah Keita has won the women's. Micah Hooverman stormed through the double to second. Uh, Shadi finished third. Um, Amado took the win in the freestyle. Stephen Matt Brockhoff in second. Third place um, was Bosson. Fourth place, uh, saying, well, actually, Dieter van der Eiken. And now we're in to the men's final. And that was a counting jump there from Thomas Traversa. We are just kicked in. Thomas Traversa versus uh, Marsilio Brown. Brown has been storming through the double. Um, and he's going great guns. Has he got one more heat left in him? Because if he has, he's going to need another heat left in him. It definitely looks flat, that board. You can see it. Seems to be working really well for him. Traversa Brown. Traversa won the single elimination this morning. We're now finishing the double. This is Thomas Traversa. He's already launched into two jumps. He seems a bit more pumped up now. He's got a different sail. Maybe it has picked up. Maybe he's took the smaller one. It's brown. on the inside to kick things off regressive riding there from Thomas Traversa and that's what he was doing this morning straight on it and that is a sick wave from what we've seen that is a proper wave score coming in for Thomas Traversa he wants the victory here he won last year in 2018 and he wants the 2019 title and that was a great opening wave for the Frenchman definite different of styles that we're seeing. Brown has done some heats today, but he'll be tired now. He's a fit lad, but he's going to be feeling it. There's the back loop. Spots it. So solid. Start of attack jumping. Uh, considering the tour has been on port attack for so long, but lives over in Maui. Brazil, obviously, his home ground when he grew up. So we've got about 11 minutes 20 on the clock. 8 4 5 for Traversa's first wave. And like I said, it was a proper wave. And that is why they've rewarded it so well. It's uh, one of the first proper waves we've seen in a while. And they have uh, thrown some points at it. I think it's fair enough. We have a bit of a change of conditions now. The wind has definitely cranked up. Traversa is definitely the man to beat in these conditions. He's already on 16 points. We're three minutes in. There you go, Brown. Trying to open things up. I think that shore break's calmed down a bit now. Goes clue first. Oh, and it doesn't work out for him that time. Just gets shut down. Oh, he looks done, doesn't he? He does look done. And that's Goya. That's Mr. Goya himself in the shorts. <laughs> 50. 51, is he at the moment? 50, 51? He's, uh, he's going strong, man. He was putting the leg power in yesterday, getting him up the beach, but Tommy T looks on it, looks energetic, and he's riding the waves like only Thomas Traversa can in this onshore stuff, just making him count as he slips off downwind. Really good from Thomas Traversa. That break probably did Thomas Traversa good. Give him a bit of a wake up, had a bit of a ride. Got himself in the game. And for Marsilio Brown, it was just another bit of lag. Needs to get things moving. Keep that momentum going. He's probably feeling it a bit at the moment. Oh, 
I think we might be far off 11 hours streaming. At the end of this, nine minutes to go. I think it could be a new record, although Tenerife was pretty hectic. So Brown, looking for that double, no doubt about it. That's what he wants to throw down. Let's have a look at that score as it dropped in. Yeah, seven, three, eight for the last wave. Has he got it wrapped up already? Thomas Traversa, uh, we're not even halfway through the heat and he's already put in an 8-4-5 and a 7-3-8. It's been a while since Brown has dropped some bigger scores uh, on his waves. Probably going to up his uh, jump scores now. I think Traversa in these conditions can ride his normal board and Brown is having to switch to probably a bigger... More flatter rocket, faster board, I guess. I don't know. It looks like he's off it now, though. Maybe the wind has picked up. He's changed down boards, down sails. He's a bigger lad, obviously. Probably got about 30 kilos on him. Not far off. 25. It's a fair bit of weight. You put 25 kilos on your back, you'll know about it. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go for five or six. Look how I can left. There you go. Yeah. He's on the left, there he is, just going past. Thomas Traverso coming in. So Thomas Traverso, advantage at the moment, 23-6-6. And he looks just more powerful, more energetic. He's had no heat, apart from the ones in the single this morning. His board obviously smaller lighter more nimble and not as tired that's for sure brown has done all his hard work and i think thomas traversa might be on too many but what a comeback from brown a run of compello Paré, lewis martin fernandez costa and traversa is the last man standing but he's got to beat him twice. Even if he beats him now, he'd have to beat him again. He's doing well, though. <laughs> I've seen a couple of people come out of the pub looking like that. His legs are gone. <laughs> His legs are gone, boys. His legs are gone. <laughs> he's like, no more drinks for the guy in the, in the white top. Back to Big Bertha. But he is now in the game for that overall title. That's the interesting bit for me. Four minutes 30 on the clock. 23.66, Thomas Traversa. Dead man walking, Marsilio Brown, he's done, I think. I'm not counting him out just yet. He's just going to pump out a big double, smash a wave out, and he's back in the game. But with uh, four minutes to go, this man looks in good form. The winner from last year in Hill, like I say, it's not, a, it's not a fluke, that's for sure. This guy likes it here. 
He's got German heritage, this bloke. Oh, look at that thing. Oh! <laughs> Under the lip, inside. He's not come up yet. <laughs> DL. He was in the tube. He was down on the bottom for a bit. That was a proper fat old section, that. Oh, that's put a bit of life back in the booth. See, how's Thomas Traverse's uh, year looking? Ninth, fifth, maybe a first. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but it's going to help his cause. I say, there is big rewards for the wins, apparently, now. I don't actually know the point system. But there is more points for first, and as they go down, they get less, as far as I know. Obviously, it's been a long day. I mean, there's bigger points gap for the first guy. I know what I mean. It's not equal as it goes down. Oh, he's got it's been a long, long day. And Thomas Traversa still looks super energetic. Well, even though his sticker's hanging off. Two minutes, 28 on the clock. This is the men's final. It's been a bit onshore for it, I have to say, but um, that's what we've been dealing with all day. And the guys who are good in this stuff have come to the forefront. It's been hard, I won't lie to you. It's maybe not shown windsurfing at its best, but it has been a competition and the best guys have fought the way through and the best girls, I've got to say. It's been a proper battle. Looking at the scores, I think we can almost wrap it up with one minute 30 to go. It's done, yeah, it's done. It is done. One minute, 25 to go. I think the writing is on the wall. Thomas Traversa will be the 2019 Silt Champion. Back-to-back -back championships. He knows it as well. I think I can see him smiling through his sail. He knows where Brown is. He knows how much time's left. He knows from the beach he's winning. He knows he's had a good heat. They're like, come in. He's like, but I, I don't want to. It feels wrong to come in. He's like... He's like, well, yeah, okay, well, why not? It feels pretty cool to come in early, but it feels wrong. But I like it. <laughs> Minutes ago, he's like, he's done. Done. Let's have a look. Let's follow him. He's like, well, you've totally smashed him. Ross Williams there, Anton Martin. They're like, yeah, well, may as well come in, mate. Crack open a beer. Give him a cheers when he comes up. Really rub it in. <laughs> So much diverser with 30 seconds to go, already claiming the victory, but it's done. It's totally done. Hats off. He was the best man on the day. He's deserved it in these conditions. He really rips it up. It's obviously a bit chillier out there than it is here in the booth. Congratulations, Jens All cares there clapping. He's had a bad day in the office. He's got to come back in the double. He knows his fight is still to come. But Marsilio Brown, obviously the heat is about to end. Congratulations, though, to uh, Marsilio Brown. What a comeback from him all the way up into second place. And I think that puts him back in uh, the title race. There's no discards this year. It was decided. I think I had a vote in that as well. But I decided as well. I voted for no discards. Because how can you discard one Hello, event Sean. you get one, two, a double three. elimination and you've got all different conditions and then you go to Maui and discard it? shouldn't happen like that. It's got to count all of them. So it was a committee decision as far as I know. I think it's stuck. I'm sure that's the right. I shouldn't be saying it in case it's wrong. But uh, I'm pretty sure no discards this year. Well, no discards after four events. We're going to go to the beach, though, and try and get some interviews.
Uh, as you can see, uh, they are filming him, and we uh, don't have a long enough cable to go there. But we'll uh, grab him in a minute. He must be stoked. He was stoked, as you have seen. And uh, I'm going to find out if I can have some eye contact with him. And um, it was tough conditions today, as we all have seen. I had a little chat with Micah, and I think Ben uh, was chatting to Mike in the box as well. And uh, yeah, getting out there already was the big challenge. And uh, we all saw how Justina wasn't able to, uh, to get out there. But uh, it is a hard work, and I'm getting a little impatience. <laughs> I have three types of uh, patience. And he's... Uh, I'm not Ben. I can't talk for that long about nothing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Tom, Tom, yeah. Tom, can you have a quick yeah. word? First family, family first, that's always. Family first, family first. Well done, huh? Yeah. How was that for you? Uh, like I say, it was amazing because this is the conditions and uh, I, I was watching Brasinho coming up the ladder all day. And uh, yeah, he was sailing amazing and I was just hoping I can deliver again a good performance now, which I did. So I'm like super, super happy because yeah, it's really hard condition and to be able to perform when I finally get the chance to, to win an event, like I did last year and this year again, uh, yeah, it's, it feels just good to give your best when you have to. Yeah, and funny enough, I just talked to uh, to Ross. You already, like you won this morning. It felt like yesterday you won, uh, but it was a long day. Uh, how do you deal with that for yourself? Yeah, like you say, uh, I was up at 6.30 this morning in the water at 8. I think by 9.30 I had won. And I had to wait almost 10 hours, uh, more than 10 hours, probably 11 hours. Uh, spent time with the family, yeah. that was nice. And uh, then I stayed a bit at home, tried to take a little nap and uh, kind of meditate a little bit just to, just to enjoy the moment and focus on uh, nothing, you know, just the moment. Enjoy this evening. Well done, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>